Hi, this is Sonia with the Office of 21st Century Learning here to walk you through your Nearpod training lesson. The first thing you will want to do is locate the lesson in the district library. So let's get started and sign into your account. Go to nearpod.com and then in the upper right hand corner, click on sign in. Once you're on the login page, um, you do not have to create an account or fill in this space up here. We actually have you set up to log in with your Office 365. So click on that button at the bottom. You will probably be directed to input your credentials. If you haven't done it before, since I've already done it, I went straight to the landing page, but you will need to put in your email address and your email password. So once on this landing page, we're going to click on My Library to go find the lesson that you need. And once in My Library, you'll notice I have a lot of lessons already in here. These are lessons that I've either created or I have picked up from the Nearpod store. And I want to show you a couple things before we go to the district library. At Explore, you will find the Nearpod store if you want to go find some lessons uh, to add to your library. You will find the school library, district library, and also the Nearpod for ELL library. So there are lots of lessons there for ELLs. And then the Create tab is where you would go to create your own Nearpod lessons. So let's go back to Explore and click on District Library. Once at the district library, you'll notice a few folders. I have highlighted the one you need in blue, Nearpod Training Lessons, click on that. And there's the lesson you need. So one thing I want you to notice here is that you cannot launch this lesson from the screen. You actually have to put it in your library to launch. And that's the same for any lesson in Nearpod. It has to be in your library to launch it. So we're gonna say show in my library. And once we're in the library, you'll notice that we're in our library right up here, top left corner. We can do a couple of things with this lesson. And it's still loading, but I'll go ahead and start here for student paste. If you wanted to launch this student paste, it would give you a code to send out to your audience and they would be able to go through the presentation on their own. But we are going to choose live lesson because I'm thinking that you're probably going to facilitate the training and lead the audience along together with you. And so this means you will be controlling their screens. So let's do live lesson and you will launch a new live session. Every time you launch a lesson, you can either use a code you've used before, but what that means is that everyone uh, who is joining the lesson will show up in one report or you can launch a new live lesson to keep all of your data in separate reports. So I'm gonna launch a new live lesson. Okay, great. Once we have this share code up on your screen, you will share it with your audience. Please make sure you are connected to a projector so that you can show it uh, to everyone. And even though they are following along with you on a device, you will want to share the entire presentation up on a screen so that they can see the teacher end of it. So remember, they'll be in as a student and you're gonna be in as a teacher. All right, uh, another thing before I forget, you will also need speakers for a video you will be showing. All right, so once they're all joined, you can click the little X and just to make sure they're all in, you can scroll to the left and see a student list. And that is where uh, their names will be populating once they join your lesson. So use the arrows to scroll through your presentation. These first two slides, the mission and the fit teaching model slides, these two slides are just statements about how Nearpod supports our 21st century vision at SEISD and also how it allows us to meet all the elements of the fit teaching model. This is a great way to just build a foundational purpose for using Nearpod to help us quickly transform our learning environments. 
This slide you can skip. This was the slide that we introduced the expectations for you guys, the trainers at the train the trainer session. Um, I didn't want to take it out just because uh, we may need this uh, training for another uh, train the trainer session, but um, just you just need to know you don't need to go over that. All right, the objectives. These are the objectives you will cover in your session. Um, very basic objectives. The main thing is to go over the purpose of Nearpod, why we're using it, go over some tools and features. They're going to go through a lesson with you to understand those tools and features. And then also they're going to have some time to look at um, some lessons to include into their library and maybe even create one from scratch. So um, again, these are the objectives that hopefully you will be able to cover in at least a one hour session with your group. And this is the beginning of the presentation. So uh, right here, I wanna show you, if you click on that down arrow, you will be able to see all of the slides. And if you ever need to move ahead in your presentation, you can easily do that by clicking on a slide and just pulling that up there and it will share to your audience. And then to get back down there into that dock again, use that little arrow at the bottom. And so very quickly and easily you can drop slides in there if for whatever reason uh, you decide not to go sequentially. But hopefully you will have time to just go sequentially and get through each slide. These first uh, five slides right there between how does Nearpod and reports. These are all just information about Nearpod that we wanna make sure the teachers know. You do not have to spend a lot of time on those. We just want them to see those visuals so that they can see how rich uh, Nearpod is. And then, let's go back here real quick. They will be taking a poll. I want to make sure you understand that Anytime you see a share button, that just means you're sharing to the audience. So once answers start coming in, you can share the results to the audience so that they can all partake in the conversation. And this is a collaborate board. You're going to have two to three collaborate boards in this presentation. If you'd like, you can go ahead and click this for all of the boards so you don't have to do this again. But this question is about if you want to moderate the comments. And I would say no, since they're all adults and I'm sure you don't need to check their comments beforehand. And then also um, you can click the little box. I kind of brushed over that, but let's see if it comes back. Nope. There it is. Click on this little box, apply for the rest of the session and then click no and you won't get this box again. Okay. This is a video that I want you to share with the audience. It's only two and a half minutes and it's about Nearpod. And so what you're gonna wanna do is if you're presenting uh, using a projector and a screen and hopefully some speakers, you're gonna wanna say, uh, play on this device only. A lot of times in the classroom, teachers have their students use earbuds and she can send the video to them individually but in this case, I think it's gonna be much better if you just show the video to the entire audience. So that would be this button here, this device only, and apply for the rest of this lesson is checked. Click on that. And now you have to press the play button for it to start. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and move forward. And this is going to be the beginning of the sample lesson where you will walk the teachers through a lesson and they are the students. That way they get to experience the student end of Nearpod and the activities. So this lesson is on biodiversity and um, I just want to make sure you know that this is a complete lesson and you don't have to actually teach the lesson, but what we want the teachers to do is participate in some of these activities so they understand how a lesson would flow and how interactive activities add um, some active engagement into the lesson. So 
will walk them through the lesson and they will participate in some of these activities, give them some time to look at this virtual field trip. I think they're going to enjoy that part. And let's see, field trip, draw it. They'll go through an open-ended question. They'll watch another video. Let's see how long that video is. Three minutes, so that's fine. Uh, you can choose not to show that video. You can just let them know this is something the kids would do, watch a video, and then they would take a quiz, okay? <clears throat> Go ahead and have them just answer random questions for the quiz, or they can try to get them right if they want. There are only two questions, and then share the information so they can see what happens when you share quiz results. All right, once you've gone through the entire model lesson, it's over at the thank you page. So the lesson is over, but you do have a couple more things to do with them. Share contact information, mine and Edward's. Edward is our Texas Area Success Manager, and he is the one that provided the training at the Train the Trainer for Nearpod. And then also we are trying to recruit some super users on each campus campus. So in an effort to build a cadre of people on each campus that can motivate each other and also work collaboratively with you to develop Nearpod proficiency, we're asking for a few teachers to volunteer to be super users. Please offer this to your audience and use the form on the next slide, and it looks like this, to have them sign up. At least one teacher per grade level would be amazing. We will keep both you and them in the Nearpod loop with the latest news, strategies, and any challenges uh, that could possibly earn them some cool Nearpod swag. And then the campus training officially ends here. But notice there are more slides. So if we look down here, let me show you. We've got some how-tos. These are short how-to videos. And they're meant for the teachers to go through them at their own pace and to watch them in case they need extra help. And there is also a resource page in, at nearpod.com. Uh, let's see if I can show that to you real quick. It's this slide right back here at nearpod.com forward slash resources. And so there's lots of information there as well. So just make sure they know that's there and also make sure they know they can access this lesson the exact same way you did by going to the district library and go to the folder called Nearpod Training. All right, that's it. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. Uh, you've got my contact information there, my email, and my phone number. Thank you.